Disappointed, used, frustrated. I have no confidence in the city of Pearland. Jimmy Davis is trying to wash himself clean of what's happening in Pearland. You see, Jimmy just spent six long months on a special citizens committee set up by the city of Pearland to get to the bottom of major water billing complaints from angry residents. Now he's angry. Through our six months of work, we realize there's serious problems. It all started in 2018 when the city changed its format, billing residents for 28 days of water use every month. But most months have 30 and 31 days. And so the city quickly fell behind by more than $5 million. To make up for that, the city launched something called the 3230 plan, suddenly charging everyone in Pearland, even the brand new residents, for 32 days of water every 30 days. People in a year, a 365 day year, are paying for 384 days of water consumption. It's not right. Jocelyn Perez, a Pearland hair salon owner, is also angry after getting outrageous water bills like these for $649, $1,500, and almost 2,000 bucks. My place of residence was 100,000 gallons consumed in one month. Is that possible that you Absolutely could use that? not. Brandy Lewis, a working mom whose bills normally average about $100 a month, was hit with two bills last August and September, both over $8,000 each. They were saying that we were using over a million gallons of water a month. Jimmy blames both Jocelyn and Brandy's bills on another big change, Pearland's switch from mechanical water meters to digital meters. If somebody used 6,000 gallons of water a month, and then all of a sudden you say for two and a half months, they used a million gallons a month, there's probably something wrong. The meter malfunctioned. Now, with close to 1,500 people sounding off on a Facebook page dedicated to Pearland water billing problems, KPRC2 Investigates sits down with Pearland Mayor Kevin Cole to ask some tough questions. The Citizens Committee that the city put together has recommended that you get rid of the 3230 plan. Right. Are you going to get rid of it? If it's up to me as a sole vote, I, I would have done away with 3230. I would have never gone into the 3230 plan. So, yes, I would recommend highly we we do away with the plan if somebody comes in with a, an outrageous water bill claiming that they use like a hundred thousand gallons in one month something like that will you guys forgive those bills going forward we need to find out what's causing it is it a meter issue is there an actual issue going on in the home or the business i would ask if they've got an outrageous bill to contact me through email okay because i take this personal i mean this is our this is my citizens that are out here that's right. You heard that right. The mayor of Pearland is asking all residents in his city who receive one of these outrageously high water bills to contact him directly through email. You can see his email right there on the screen. He says do that and your complaint will automatically be given highest priority status. I got to tell you, in 35 years, I have never heard of any mayor making any offer like that before. Also, you need to know that the city council met this past Monday to discuss killing that 3230 plan. They decided against it. They are sticking with it, and it goes until 2023. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC2 Investigate.